We are up at the cabin for the weekend. Haven't even changed out of my pajamas yet. But it's perfectly still out, so we're gonna fly this. And last night I installed the floats, so we're gonna fly it out over water. And it's probably gonna end in disaster, so let's see how that goes. Here's a poocher. And I need sunglasses, I'll be right back. Thank you very much, my dear. Well, not so bad. It came back in one piece and it's not totally drenched. I had one not so great landing over there where I was trying to bring it down uh, without crashing too bad. But uh, yeah, it's alive. This dock is so wet now because this guy kept jumping in the water. You don't get it. I figured it was gonna be a little bit weird to try to take off and land. Like I figured there would be like some extra grip uh, like between the water and the ground as opposed to like with wheels um, but honestly like because of the way that it sits like especially if you look at it from the front you can see that there's it's kind of already tilted up out of the water so as soon as you get any airspeed it just takes off and like there's so much surface area with the wings it just flies right out of the water and then I was really worried about landing again because of that the stickiness of water compared to, to wheels on the ground I thought I was worried it was gonna just like hit and just dip in and smash on the ground but even when i i even have a, at a landing where i think i dipped at one of the tips of the water a little bit it's still just leveled off and came back down so i mean landing and takeoff was way more of a non-issue than i thought it was going to be i was even kind of doing a couple little touch and goes because i wanted to keep practicing it so i'm excited so the next thing i think i'm going to do is uh stick the uh, insta 360 one r on here um probably do one on the top and then one on the bottom um, because i think it'd be cool to have both perspectives uh, so that we can have it fly or have some onboard footage because I can't chase it with a drone because I'm already flying it um, and nobody else here can fly. Uh, so yeah, that'll be, that should be some fun perspective, especially flying out over the water. Um, maybe I'll even like put it like up on one of the, one of these um, pontoons so that we can look down and see it landing and taking off on water. Of course, the, uh, the Insta360 1R is um, waterproof. So that'd be pretty cool if that worked. Um, yeah, I'm excited. Let's get it going. And then as far as like installing these went, um, I actually was pleasantly surprised how easy it was. Basically, you take these two spars and you insert it into the pre-made holes on there. And then there's these clamps right here that there's a screw that goes through the spar that goes across. And then you also put this this other bar underneath that clamp and then you just screw it in. Like it took, it took me maybe 10 minutes to put the these gear on. Um, I think it took me longer to put the wheels on to be honest, but so that was nice It should be easy to switch it back over to wheels when I want it to be wheels um, So yeah, I'm excited about how simple it has been. The only thing that I struggled with in that first flight was that these The rudders in the water don't really have a lot of authority um, Like you can see that when I turn the tail fin, you know, these start to move a little bit, but it doesn't do really do that great of a job 
Um, so, and I really found that I was much preferring to turn one direction over the other. So I basically had to do circles in order to get it in, um, in order to get it into landing. So eh, it's a little bit of a bummer, but it's not, you know, not the end of the world, obviously. So is it perfect? No. Do I think it'll stay long enough for one flight? Maybe. <laughs> Hey guys, just wanted to jump in really quick and say thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Uh, if you love this content, there's a membership button down below. It allows you to kind of sign up and get some giveaway stuff from my channel. And for me, um, like we're giving away a backpack right now. I've got to do the um, giveaway like numbers a little bit later. It'd be awesome to have you join in with that. Um, and then also this video uses the Insta360 One R um, on top of the plane. Um, there's an affiliate link down below. If you use that link, you get like extra cool stuff with it. Um, would love to have you use that. And finally, um, all the DJI stuff which I use in this later in the clip, we're gonna or later in the video, you're gonna see me use uh, or the the DJI stuff on top of this plane. And that video is all the DVR from the freaking plane, and it's absolutely gorgeous and incredible. So um, please feel free to use any of those things, those affiliate links. It helps my channel. Please subscribe, sign up, all that stuff. Thanks so much for hanging out and we're getting back to it. So it's so freaking nice out right now. Um, and I wanna fly, but I can't because like to fly line of sight into that would be awful. It's so bright. Uh, so I'm gonna quickly modify this thing to have FPV. So I've got my digital FPV system that's already wound up, bound up to my uh, 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 goggles. And then I've got a, uh, this is from the Tiny Hawk 2. Um, it's going to be a 2S connection and I'm going to wire it into the DJI connector and uh, then I'm just going to hot glue it onto the top of the plane really quick so that we can at least get a little bit of flying in in this amazing, super sunny weather. Okay, we got an FPV now. Just going to plug that in, then to that, then the antennas and then the cameras out the front. It's perfect.
Well, I gotta say that was the perfect way to cap off a day of flying with that plane. Um, the last flight, our last battery was like all line of sight. I went back to line of sight because I was having so much fun with it earlier. Um, it was just so satisfying in the sunlight, like the way it was, just the water is glass just taking off and landing off of that. It was perfect. Thanks very much for coming along for this adventure. Stay flying.